Remotion now has a native buffering state as well as a new pre-mount feature. These two new APIs will help you make apps that have a smoother preview experience. This is the problem that we are facing. Let's say we want to play two videos after another. However, Remotion is always only aware of the current content. It will only render the markup that is being present at the current time. So even though we are here at the last frame of the first video, and in a split second time, we will need to be playing another video, Remotion at this point doesn't yet notice and will not prepare the second video. So when the time inevitably comes, the video first needs to get mounted, fetched, and being rendered to the canvas after it's being decoded. And that takes a little while. So what often happens is that we play our composition in our player, the playhead moves forward, but there is a small flicker here because the video needs some time to load. Here is where the native buffering state comes into play. Previously, Remotion had no buffering state at all, which would mean that if this video would take some time to load, it could get out of sync with the Remotion timeline. Remotion would try to correct this by doing an additional seek if the time shift gets too big, but this could introduce an additional lag. Now we can add the pause when buffering prop to any video, audio, or image. And when doing that, the timeline will briefly pause. I've now disabled the cache to load the video freshly from the internet. And as you might have seen, uh, the player briefly pauses while it is loading the asset and the video always stays in sync with the timeline. This is great, but now there's a brief pause in between each clip. It would be great if the video was already ready when it is scheduled to play. It would be great if the video would pre-mount a few seconds earlier so it has time to load itself and be ready when it needs to play. Now this is natively possible in Remotion by adding the pre-mount for prop to a sequence. I'm going to give it a value of 60, which means it is going to mount 60 frames earlier. There is visual indication in the Remotion Studio when a sequence is pre-mounted. In this example, the first video is playing. But now the second video is about to appear. You can see based on this indication in the Remotion Studio that the second video is currently being pre-mounted. This means that it is currently in the DOM, but it has a zero opacity style being applied to it. The idea here is that when the video is scheduled to appear, it will already be completely ready because it had time to load decode itself and render itself to the DOM. The downside of it is, of course, that during this period, you, of course, have two videos mounted to the DOM at the same time, which is heavier on the browser and requires more memory. Remotion gives you great power over how aggressively you want to use these new techniques. You can opt in or out each media tag individually, whether it should use the new buffering state, and you can also add it to your own components. You may also show a spinner or a custom overlay in your player if the player has to buffer for a longer amount of time, as is convention with any video player. Pre-mounting is natively implemented for the sequence series and transition series component. If this is not sufficient, you can also implement your own custom pre-mount component uh, with a bit of a caveat, which you can read on the pre-mounting page. 
We now have many different tools in our tool belt as to how to address this problem. We can do nothing at all because the problem doesn't appear at all when you are rendering a video, only when you are previewing it. We can use the native buffering state as explained in this video. We can also hint to the browser that it should preload the video. However, the browser may choose to ignore it. For example, if it is on mobile data or in battery saver mode, like is the case on mobile. We have the option to pre-mount the video and also to pre-fetch the video. This uses the fetch API to fetch the entire video. Uh, and this is guaranteed to actually fetch it beforehand, but you need to fetch the entire video and keep it in memory to use this feature. We hope that with these new tools, you can create applications with greater user experience. And of course, we are always open to hear your experiences, your feedback, and hope to improve in this area further in the future.